your father is a devoted father, and your father did uh, what a lot of fathers would do, and, and take care of their their daughter, and, and you know, you've affected his life too. You know, you've put him through a lot. Um, so your actions just have had so many far-reaching consequences. I'm not sure you fully appreciate it, um, but that's not a consideration for the court. Uh, this shooting, uh, in the opinion of the court, in the, in the opinion of the jurors, was no accident. And the legislature, for whatever reason, uh, place is a, places a high punishment on those who use guns. Uh, and in this case, it was a gun, as I pointed out before, that was loaded. The safety was off. Your finger was on the trigger. It was pointed at Jason Harper. You pulled the trigger, and you killed him just days after filing for divorce. Uh, you are no doubt a danger to society in the opinion of the court, and you are sentenced to 40 years to life in prison for the killing of Jason Harper. The defendant is absolutely ineligible for a grant of probation pursuant to Penal Code Section 12022.53G. Therefore, probation is denied, and the defendant will be committed to the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation for the term of 40 years to life. That is 15 years to life for the Penal Code Section 187A conviction, the 10-year uh, uh, term for the PC 12022.5A uh, allegation is stayed, pursuant to Penal Code Section 12022.53F. And with respect to the Penal Code Section 12022.53D allegation, the court imposed a term of 25 years to life for that allegation for a total term of 40 years to life in state prison. Do we have, and then from, from probation, quit your appearance for probation. I failed to get that. Good morning, Your Honor. I'm Mayra Espino on behalf of probation. Okay, and do we have updated credits? Yes, we do. Okay, all right. Uh, the uh, defendants uh, committed to the term of uh, the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation for the period of 40 years to life with credit for time served to this date is 400, I'm sorry, 503 actual days credit. Uh, the court will order the defendant to pay a restitution fine to, pursuant to Penal Code Section 1202.4B in the amount of $10,000. Your Honor, I think... You reserve that for hearing. That's the restitution fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so and, and the additional restitution <clears throat> fine pursuant to Penal Code Section 1202.45 in the amount of $10,000 to be stayed and remain so unless defendant's supervision is revoked. The court will order the defendant to pay a $40 court security fee, the $30 immediate critical needs account fee, and the criminal justice administration fee in the amount of $154. Uh, restitution uh, will be left open and uh, to be determined at the hearing on January 22nd at 9 o'clock. All fines, fees, and restitution, if the court does order it, shall be paid forthwith or as provided in Penal Code Section 2085.5. The court will order the defendant to submit the DNA testing pursuant to Penal Code Section 296. Uh, now, Ms. Harper, you do have the right to appeal the conviction and the sentence of the court. You have 60 days to file your notice of appeal. Uh, that is your responsibility to do so, but you must file your appeal notice within 60 days of today's date, or the appeal will be untimely. Mr. Finks, were you going to file that on her behalf? Or? Yes, Your Honor. I just asked that she be allowed to sign her notice of appeal uh, just for a second before she, she goes back, so I okay. can file it today. All right, before she leaves, uh, we'll, we'll allow her to sign that uh, document, perhaps back in the tank. I'm not sure I'll leave that up to the bailiff. Uh, but are there any further requests at this time, Mr. The, Finks? The recommendation. Oh, the recommendation. Uh, Ms. Harper, I, I don't have the ability to uh, dictate where you're housed. Uh, you will be classified by the California Department of Corrections, and then they will place you in a facility that uh, is uh, appropriate for your classification. So I, I cannot make that recommendation. I can't make a binding order that they house you uh, further south. Uh, if I could, I would, because I know your father's probably going to be driving up to see you quite a bit. But they will not, uh, they will not order that. All right? They will not follow the court order. Now, there's also a, a temporary criminal protective order that was in place for Lina Harper. I'm just going to lift that because she's going to be in custody. 
so that uh, temporary uh, criminal protective order is. Oh, we can go down the hall. Do you want to do that? Do you want to get serious? Yeah, same place. Okay. Or Jack. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to read it right now or do you want the actual? Yes and yes. Okay. Are they screaming to me upstairs yet? Jurors? Sorry. I have one call. I told them you'd be there probably by 11, which I'm right on time.